Hey guys, today I have a what I eat in a day video for you. So I will be walking you through how I cook my meals, how I prepare everything, and how they end up tasting. So I'm really excited to bring you guys along for that. Before I get into it in my kitchen, I just want to let you know I do intermittent fast. So if you only see two meals, that's why. In the middle, if I do get hungry, I do have a snack. So who knows, maybe that'll end up happening today too. I basically eat between the hours of like, on my off day, like, 11 to 6 or 7 ish so nothing crazy I would bet that most people who skip breakfast end up doing this anyway and what's not shown in the video is basically before I eat anything in the morning as soon as I wake up and brush my teeth I have a big glass of water so I have the water I take my vitamins then I'll drink my coffee and on a day like today when I'm feeling a little bit like congested or I feel like the beginnings of a cold starting up I do take a juice shot I'm basically going to start cooking my actual meals so let's get into it okay so for lunch we are going to make a tuna salad sandwich with some toasted ezekiel bread i'm just going to try to jam pack a lot of veggies that's what i've been trying to do lately so i have my washed veggies here i have an onion some cucumbers and some celery so we're going to dice them up and then we're going to get them all ready to mix in with the canned tuna I still like don't know how to cook for one person on one hand because it's just more useful like if I'm already cooking then I'd like to have leftovers so that I don't have to cook as much for the next meal but also like I don't know I just never learned so like for example these veggies like I'm gonna be able to eat this for like three meals we're gonna pop that in this is definitely going to be basically a salad. You know, actually the ratio is not bad because there was more canned tuna. I guess it was like kind of squished together. So it looked like it wasn't that much volume, but once I'm mixing it up, it's actually distributing quite nicely. I don't like this to be too runny and too like saucy but you know you don't want it dry either so it's kind of about hitting that nice balance so here is the sandwich it's kind of falling apart but the most important thing is the taste so let's taste test mmm That's really good for not measuring any of the ingredients. Basically what I do is I put half the amount of mustard as I put in mayo. So if I do like, for example, one tablespoon of mayo, then I do like half of that in mustard because I don't really mind the taste of mustard. I really like it actually. So I guess that recipe can change depend on, you know, whether you're a big mustard fan or not. But this is a success for like a quick brunch. Yeah, I would say so. Mm. these are paleo puffs and I really like them it's like a good alternative for like you know cheese puffs and stuff like that you can taste like the coconut oil on it so I like it and also the bread that I like to use is Ezekiel bread all right well I'm gonna go and enjoy the rest of this so I'll see you guys in a little bit It is a little while later and I got hungry for a snack so what I did was I took half an avocado and I just sprinkled some everything but the bagel seasoning on it and then I have some fresh raspberries that I washed and then I got this olive tapenade which I don't always get but once in a while when I'm in the mood for olives I will grab this from Trader Joe's um, and I have like a few crackers here to dip so this is gonna be my snack and I'm looking forward to it I'm going to start with a raspberry. Very good. They're sweeter than I thought they would be. Okay, now I'm going to go for the avocado. Mm. I know some people are afraid of, like, avocados and high-fatty foods like nuts and, you know, stuff like that. 
because they are a little higher in calories and you know they hear the word fat and like kind of freak out but what is really important to know is that especially for women healthy fats like this like fish avocados nuts olive oil it's really essential for hormone health so you need to have a certain amount of fats in your diet in order to regulate yourself hormonally and to be healthy in that way plus it helps your hair skin and nails and healthy fats like these are essential and now i'm going to try the olive tapenade i've already opened this disclaimer so i know it tastes good and i've gotten this before fair warning it is a little salty but olives are good for you too and i feel like my body is kind of craving olives and that kind of thing i usually listen to it because as long as you're not like oh my body is craving like a pizza or like a taco every single day as long as it's not like that usually your body is pretty spot on like one thing i've encountered is i was listening to this podcast about like women's health and you know how at different phases of your cycle you have like different cravings because your body needs certain nutrients to create like hormones and to get you in sync with certain parts of your of your infradian rhythm basically like your menstrual cycle and you know all that jazz and this one time i remember i was really craving like squash and like chestnuts and stuff and i never crave those things like i'm not a huge like squash person or like a pumpkin person that's changed recently but that's a story for another time i was craving all of these foods and i was like that's weird so i just looked it up because i was a little curious and what do you know these foods were rich in magnesium i think potassium too so anyway at the point that i was in in my cycle apparently that's when you need more magnesium and stuff like that and the reason why a lot of women when they're pmsing like the week before their period they crave a lot of sweets and chocolate and stuff like that is because apparently you do need that extra sugar in order to create progesterone i thought that was really interesting so ladies listen to your cravings your body is telling you something important I don't really believe in like not eating certain things like not eating carbs or not eating fats like I believe you do need like a, the good version of all of those nutrients so that's been helping me out a lot and it's been helping me feel balanced so anyway this is the olive tapenade mm. the combination is really good because the cracker kind of is like figs in it i believe like dried figs and like seeds and stuff like that and the olive tapenade is really salty so it's a good combination if you like that sort of thing mm. hey guys so it's been a few hours and now it is dinner time so i'm gonna be making a truffle and veggie stir fry brown rice ramen noodle dish on top of that i'm gonna have some chicken breast um also with the truffle sauce but a different truffle sauce so the chicken is going to be prepared after my veggies which is just a rule of thumb that i like to keep and i'm going to be cooking the uh chicken in the air fryer while i stove top cook everything else so i'm really excited about this truffle dish i love all things truffle this is the first time i'm trying this recipe i'm not even sure if there is a recipe i'm just kind of like going with the flow like i'm not really measuring anything i'm just kind of like doing everything to taste it's going to be pretty simple it's like an olive oil um garlic and veggie with um some salt and pepper and some truffle sauce and like mushroom slice type of dish let's get started i'm really excited So on my right here, I have some boiling water so that I can boil this first. And then on my left, I'm gonna start stir frying the oil so that it's flavored with all of the garlic and the other veggies. I think I'm gonna add the truffle a little later just because I don't want that to burn. But anyway, I wanted to show you the noodles that I'm using. It's supposed to be like rice ramen. So I really like this brand. It's Lotus Foods. So it takes only like four minutes to boil. So what I might do is just boil it for like 
three minutes and then the other minute obviously I want to saute and flavor everything so I definitely want to keep an eye on this make sure it's al dente and not overcooked because there's nothing worse than overcooked noodles. Okay, I'm so excited. This not only smells amazing, but it looks pretty good too. Look at that. That is restaurant quality if I do say so myself. Up until like a few years ago, I really like didn't know how to cook at all. Like I could make fried eggs and something really simple like that, like you know breakfast but I didn't know how to cook so this is actually like a really big deal and when I cook something that looks um, you know decent I'm really proud of myself so it turned out to be like somewhat of a pasta type of situation except it's with as you know brown rice ramen noodles but I think it'll be really good so let us dig in I'm gonna start with the chicken all right let me cut a little piece here okay Mmm, that is pretty good. Mmm, I feel like it would have been even better if I had marinated it, but it's it's really good. Let me actually taste a bit of the truffle mushroom. Mm. Mmm, it's like a subtle flavor. It's not like in your face. It's not super like potent, but it's really good you get like hints of the truffle and the flavor of the parmesan it goes really well together but what I am realizing is I think this is the first time I'm actually trying like truffle mushrooms and the actual mushroom tastes nothing like the flavor of truffle that I have been used to so that is kind of a surprise for me but still really really good I would be curious to try this with like other types of carb sources so this time it was like a brown rice like ramen replacement next time I might want to try like pasta or something I feel like that'd be really good hmm well anyway I'm gonna enjoy this but thank you so much for watching what I eat in a day I hope you enjoyed my cooking my efforts at least and I will see you guys in the next one